Is your privacy under threat? Has the age of privacy come to an end? Are you sick of Facebook's lack of respect for your privacy? If you think your privacy is threatened, be glad you don't live in China. Chinese government wants to give every citizen a score based on behaviors. Purchase history, political leanings, and social interactions would be used to calculate a person's trust score. Facebook and Twitter are banned in China, so people use... WeChat, one of the world's most popular mobile apps. So the government spies on that round the clock. The state also monitors the Chinese version of Amazon called Alibaba. Alibaba is by your side 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Why should we care what the communists do? We're not in China. You're walking to the communists voluntarily. That scares me. Lee Schoolin came to America 30 years ago. After I came to the United States, I thought, oh, no more politics. I'm in the land of free. I'm not worried. Then after I saw these things happen, I said, no, no, no. I said, I have to tell the American people, don't let this happen. Here's Lee when she was 16. She survived the Great Leap Forward, the Great Famine, the Cultural Revolution. Her parents were doctors, so they and she were re-educated. Mao said, we shouldn't learn from books. We should learn from the military, from the farmers, from the workers. And this was to teach you not to be fancy. The poorer you were, the better you were. If you're illiterate, you're the best. The repression is over. It's all better now. The repression is not over. The control of people's mind, people's mouth, people's pen never stopped. Today in China, if you tell friends about certain books, your message will be blocked. Even innocent sounding phrases are censored. I understand the titles of novels like Animal Farm, Brave New World, but Long Live the Emperor? Because long live means forever. Xi Jinping now just the constitution. Well, he's president forever. Yeah, but nobody can talk about it. They can't even talk about this teddy bear. Winnie the Pooh? Oh, because somebody said he looks like Winnie the Pooh, so it's banned. And now another step, more subtle than just banning things. The state will monitor what you say on social media and assign you a social credit score. That will tell them how trustworthy you are. The government says this will allow the trustworthy to roam everywhere under heaven, while making it hard for the discredited to take a single step. There's going to be this new social credit score. Yes, it is a big deal. Some American governments already do something similar. The LAPD can scan tens of thousands of license plates. Los Angeles police now practice predictive policing. They pay a company called Palantir to analyze social media, trace people's ties to gang members, and predict the likelihood that someone may commit a crime. After searching over 100 million data points, Palantir displayed an impressive web of information on one burglary suspect. People like that. They think it makes them safer. I think they're giving government too much power. They didn't realize this is going to, going to lead more and more and more. There's no end. I would like to know that there's a trust score so I can know who's trustworthy and who's not. Sounds sort of appealing. Yes, we do want to know who we can trust when we do business. But those are market behaviors. We don't need the government to get involved. When government does get involved, bad things can happen. What happens if you have a low score? First, lost your job, uh, or you never get promoted. Your children cannot get to good schools. For Chinese people, if they, the kids cannot go to a good school, that's the whole world. If they really don't like what you say, they lock you up and torture you. They didn't allow me to sleep. I was kept in a small room and saw no daylight for half a year. But that's China. Why should we be afraid? Get out of my life! In America, every week on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, I challenge people in power. Trump does make things up. I say these things and no one punishes me. So far.